Now that is fascinating. That is interesting. I did not even think of that. That is going to make me think of capitalism a little differently today. That is very good material. Oh! You want me to stop reading my intellectual novel to review Drake's new mixtape? Dark Lane, whatever the hell you call it? Folks. I listen to it because I'm a good music critic and I listen to every single release that comes out, pretty much. They put the freaking Toosie, what is that song called? Toosie Slide? The Vine, the Vine song? He literally wrote a song with the intention of hoping it would go viral on TikTok and people would be dancing to it on TikTok because that's literally how the music industry works nowadays. The music industry has gotten so shallow that they are dependent on freaking making songs that are going to go viral on TikTok for money. What the hell? Where's the artistic value in that? Listen to me. Drake. You and I are both rappers. We both have our own hip-hop hits. Let me give you some advice. We all know you're going irrelevant. No one cares about this mixtape. No one cares. No one cares about your 2Z slide. No one cares about any... Listen, this sounds exhausted. It sounds... Drake, you sound like you're exhausted here. It sounds like you're trying to go irrelevant. It sounds like you're wasting my freaking time when I could be reading my data. And you're giving me, you're giving me Drake. Pumping out the same old crap we've heard him from doing for a freaking decade now. If it's 2020, the year 2020, and you're still listening to Drake, you have an issue because that's like going to Walmart for your art, okay? This is, Drake is Walmart music. It's literally just the most cheaply produced commodity of music possible. That's like, if you feel emotionally connected to this music, I don't know what the fuck is wrong with you. You are not a human. You're a sociopath because this is not fucking art. It's not emotional. It's Drake. Literally freaking coming up with lyrics like a fucking, like a fucking product. He doesn't even write nobody. He's just nobody. He doesn't even write the music here. It's just literally just fucking industry people putting their brains together to fucking come up with a fucking a shitty fucking mixtape. And he literally put a fucking uh, music for a fucking six-year-old to dance to on freaking TikTok. I'm not reviewing this, folks. Well, I guess I just did. Thanks for watching. I didn't even finish. I'm going to be honest with you. This is the first time I've ever reviewed something without finishing it. And I don't feel bad about it at all because I listen to most of it. Nothing, unless the last few songs were literally Drake's fucking comeback moment. There's no reason for me to listen to this whole thing because it's just fucking, it's just a fucking commodity, not art. And if you like Drake's new stuff, if you like Drake's new stuff, if you still listen to Drake in 2020, you are literally a fucking idiot. You're dumb. You're dumb. You're dumb. I'm an intellectual. I'm going to go back to reading now. Thank you for wasting my time. Punk Revolution now.